Okay, fixing this Frigidaire stacked washer and dryer. Had a problem with the washer. Randomly would just not start, start, just beep, not do anything. Random pumping for no reason. Just like it's uh, possessed. Took it apart. And I found this broken wire. And this harness goes to the main motor board control board, which goes right on the side of the machine, which I removed right now and I'll show you in a bit. The motor control board has two harnesses plugging into it. This is one of them. And the other one is this one. And this is the motor control board side. And this is the uh, connector that connects to another connector. So that blue wire connection. So there's the splice I made just temporarily. And that harness goes to that harness there, the white plug harness. So, got a problem with this machine. I call it the ghost in the machine because it just do whatever it wanted. And to get out that board, well, it's not the board. You don't have to take out the board, just, well, you might have to get to that wire. That board is just uh, one screw held in from this end. You have that one screw that goes in that bracket and one plastic tab. You lift up the tab, undo that screw, and the steel bracket is here. That's the steel bracket that goes onto that bottom rail. And that's where the outside screw goes into, and that hole. So this is a picture of underneath the washing machine with the front panel removed. I'll go in number ordered here. So number one is where I think the cut wire was located because once I took it apart, didn't know exactly where it was, but that's my assumption. The numbers two and three are, I found damaged wires, but that could have been by, made by me when I used the mini wire cutters to cut the tape around the wire harness. Number four is location where the green tracer, which is the wire harness that goes to the rear of the motor control board. Now the motor control board is on the left side under a black housing and the circuit board is under that. And that green trace is the wire harness that I showed you previously that had the cut blue wire. So that starts with a connector goes to the twist eye at number five, which is location at one where I think the cut wire is, and it goes to the rear of the motor control board. Number six is another location with a cable tie attached to location number seven under the tub. And the blue trace is the wiring harness going to the back of the machine and goes to the computer control board, which is accessed from behind the machine right where the dryer is. So if you're looking at this diagram, number one is where my cut wire was. So this is after I fixed that damaged wire. So number one is the location of the damaged wire that I repaired. The green wire is the trace that goes to the back of the control board. Number two and three, again, are the possible cuts, but I think I created them. Those are the repair points. Now there you'll see number four, which is uh, the harness to the control board. So number six is where the other cable tie goes to the seven, number seven there under the tub.
and there's the blue trace that goes to the back of the machine. So the part you have to worry about, well, the part that I found my cut was, is that harness, which is the green trace that goes from that connector, the white connector, to the back of the control board, the motor control board. So if you're looking at that green trace, that's what you need to look for. And this is it, all buttoned up. I re-taped it, re-harnessed it, put the uh, cable tie back on up into the frame. And it's been working fine ever since I did that repair. Hope you have, uh, hope you find your problem. Good luck. Take it easy.